In recent days, recent months, the last year or so, I've been pulled in different directions away from some of the wood shop stuff. And I'm kind of missing the CNC work. Over the years, I've built six CNCs, either modified or built from scratch, six machines. And this is the latest one. This one is a real kind of oddball. I've got 3D printed parts. I've got two small steppers that are running on the same X port on that driver board that I modified from a broken control box. And the time has come to move on to something else. So that something else is a 6040 CNC. These have really come down in price. They used to be 12, 14, 1600 bucks. And you can get one now for around $800. I paid $830 for this one on eBay, and it got here pretty fast. So one thing we need to do before getting into the CNC 6040 setup, unboxing, all that good stuff, is make some space in here. My workshop is in a portion of the basement, and over the last few years it's gotten really cluttered. So the first thing I want to do here is make some space. This is a bench I made with some laminate flooring leftovers from a flooring job we did a number of years ago and what I want to do is build some shelving space built into the desk here. Ran to the hardware store this morning, picked up a bunch of lumber and we'll start working on that. This shelf design is going to be pretty simple. We're going to go 16 inches in from the end and then we're going to have two shelves on top so we'll have our top part, our shelf in the middle, and then our base here. And to keep things simple, I just had the hardware store cut these down when I was there using half inch AC plywood. Cut down four two foot long sections of two by fours. We've got our four two foot long posts about every 18 inches. So they're evenly separated. So this is complete for now. It's a work in progress. My shop is always changing. I'm adding things, swapping stuff out. I think for the back side of this unit, I'll probably put some pegboard and hang some more tools. I still have a lot of space here to work with. And I just started loading it up with tools and odds and ends. And we've got a lot of space we can, we can add to. I also want to redesign some of the storage underneath that, that table but I think that'll be useful. After a little bit of reorganization here in this bench modification, we now have some space to take apart the old DIY CNC and build the new one and get it into that enclosure there. In the meantime, this bench has been kind of redesigned, refurbed. We've got some nice hardware storage. This is sort of the hardware store now. And we've got storage on the back of the bench, too. As a side note regarding hardware storage, this whole system was really cheap. It was about 20 bucks on Amazon. Came with these 30 bins and the backing piece, too. And I was surprised for how cheap that was, how solid it is. And these things easily come off. And that's some good storage. I may put some more of those systems throughout the area down here. What I don't know is if we have enough space from the bottom of the CNC to the top of the enclosure. I've measured it. I think we do have enough room, but with the wires and the water cooling, I'm not sure. So we'll see. Got the electronics all broken down, packed up and put away. The inside of the enclosure box has been opened up. Feels a whole lot bigger in there without all that DIY CNC stuff. And most of the machine has been broken down and put away. I still have this bridge here that I'm deciding what I want to do with. It was a unique piece and uh, kind of fun to make. So we'll start moving on to 
putting the 6040 together and see if it'll fit in that box. It is time to move the 6040 CNC into the enclosure. I was able to put it together on the bench here in pieces bit by bit, but this guy is heavy. We're somewhere between 150 and 175 pounds. And that's a little bit much for me to pick up on my own. I don't have extra help this weekend and I'd like to get this into the box. So this is what we're gonna do. I've built a simple two by four frame and this is just going to slide across here with the CNC on it. Once we get it to this point, I've got some ideas on how to raise it up. That's just slid on to our slider here and then we'll pull this down and move on to the next phase as far as getting that up. And that works actually surprisingly well. I can almost do this with one hand here without the camera on any kind of tripod and just slide this next to the enclosure. Almost in. I'll need to cut a little notch out of the trim of the enclosure box, but we're just about there. Well, single-handedly, you can do this with a little bit of thought and a little bit of planning. So the next phase is to clean this up, get everything connected. Before I move this in here, I did connect it up to the computer to make sure everything worked before going through all the effort to move this in. And everything responded really well. So, making progress. The 6040 is all nice and neatly tucked into the enclosure. Still need to wire up the electronics and connect up the water supply for the spindle cooling but that'll be for another day. The big part was getting that guy in there. And we've also got the shop reorganized and neatened up. So a lot of progress has been made. Hopefully in the next few weeks, we can start working on some CNC projects. I've got lots of ideas and looking forward to getting back to some woodworking. Thanks very much for taking a look.